morning, JCC families. My name is Sarah, and I am one of the assistant aquatics directors down at the aquatics department. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about seizures. Okay. Um, a little bit about a seizure. A seizure is a disorder in the brain's electrical activity. Um, it you can lose consciousness and go into convulsions when you are having a seizure, okay? Um, when a person is having a seizure, you never ever wanna put anything in their mouth. Um, you want to uh, make sure that where they are, they are in a space that they will not hurt themselves. So make sure you move furniture away, uh, chairs, any toys, anything that you think they're gonna hurt themselves on, move that away. Never restrain them in any way. Just let them um, do their convulsions and they will go unconscious, so just let them do their thing uh, until um, they regain consciousness, okay? You do not need to call 911 if the person has had more than one seizure. So if a person uh, has had seizures in the past and they know um, that they do have seizures and you know that they have seizures, you do not need to call 911, okay? Um, when the person regains consciousness from having the seizure, uh, just let them know what happened, let them know who you are, and comfort them, okay? Um, they will understand what happened. It is a blackout for them. They will not remember it, but if you let them know that they just had a seizure, um, just to, to stay calm, let them know who you are, and to stay still, okay, for at least a little bit or until they feel good enough to stand and move, okay? Um, now, the times that you want to call 911. If this person or the person that has uh, the seizure, if this is their very first seizure, you need to call 911. If um, the seizure lasts longer than five minutes, no matter if they've had one seizure or multiple seizures, if that seizure lasts more than five minutes, you need to call 911, okay? Um, if the person is pregnant, you need to call 911. If the person is diabetic, you need to call 911. And if the person fails to regain consciousness after the seizure, you need to call 911, okay? So again, even if the uh, person that's having the seizure, if this is, say, their fifth seizure and they're pregnant, call 911. If this is their fifth, fifth seizure, um, and they don't regain consciousness after the seizure, you need to call 911, okay? So I hope you learned a little bit about seizures. If anybody um, has a seizure in the water and you're out swimming and there's no lifeguard and you're the closest one to them, again, the only thing that you need to do is hold their head above water. Let them do their thing, um, let them seize, let them shake, uh, convulge, but just keep their head above water. Again, keep everything away from them. Uh, all you're gonna do is just hold their head above water until they uh, regain consciousness. Um, so I hope you learned a little bit about seizures on land and in water. If you guys have any questions or ever wanna join a Red Cross class, I would love to see you all. Um, please give me a call at the aquatics department. Hope you all have a good day.